in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed listen we're about to pray i want to ask you a few questions question one is it true that god walks through men don't just answer think about it can the god of the universe actually hold the hands of a mortal man and walk with that man i was speaking some time ago with a consultant who was telling me please sit down the consultant was telling me some of the advancements that have happened in medicine and based on what he told me here's what he said that right now using the power of the internet a doctor from somewhere can actually be performing surgical procedures without being there physically using the power of robotics and all of that you know i said wow that just reminded me that the god of heaven can find expression through the hands of mortal men so you see possibilities that are beyond the man and you know that there must be a mighty god producing this i ask you again is it true that the god of the heavens whom the heavens cannot even contain that he can literally live speak and walk through men do you believe it is possible question two do you believe it can happen with you That these hands can literally the hand of Jehovah can rest upon an ordinary man's hand and you will command possibilities that these lips of clay as frail as they are his majesty can echo his voice and everyone in Zion can hear and know that he's the one speaking I'm asking you a question do you believe he said, great is the mystery of godliness, that God can become a man. Ladies and gentlemen, this was a revelation that the fathers caught. Today, it is a theological debate in the church. Was never meant to be so. Is it true that God can live through men and manifest provable possibilities in their lives? How do you keep speaking and people are shouting up and down? Are you a herbalist? By what mechanism? My strings man is not here.
manifesting infinite possibilities through men. Listen to me. Hear me. My call tonight is that you leave the realm of shadow boxing. There is a higher dimension in the spirit. A dimension where all of you becomes a mysterious manifestation an unfolding of this glory that Shekinah glory through your life possibilities that cause men to wonder and you see every time men look at you and they think you are so great then you remind them that we are only ordinary men defended by the jealousy of a great God that he stands behind us as a mighty terrible one this is what is making you become a mystery to many a sermon to many a challenge to others that your life becomes an effulgence did we not read about this man in the Bible did they not carry the power of God from nation to nation? It's not by empty grammar and speaking. No, we bring the possibilities of the kingdom, provable realities, demonstrating the ministry of the Spirit here and now. Oh, it's time to rise. It's time to rise. It's time to shake that, shake that old you. Shake that old you. Shake the powerless you. Shake the carnal you. Shake the flesh you. Shake the sense driven you. Rise to the realm of the spiritual. Hallelujah. I want you to sing for me a song. The atmosphere is changing now. For the Spirit of the Lord is here. The evidence is on. Hallelujah. This man looking at me, lift your hands. I saw fire coming upon you. That man, I stretch my hands upon you. In the name of Jesus, you are drinking of the wine of the spirit. Let it open you to a new face. A new face. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. What does it take to walk in the power of God? What does it take to be a conduit releasing the possibilities of the spirit to the nations? What does it take to bring the counsel of Jesus to the nations? What does it take to be an epitome of the blessing of the Lord? What does it take to find favor with God and with men? The answers to these and more are shrouded in this mystery called the way of God. He can show men his ways. We can feast on the patterns of the spirit and with them manifest wonders in this life. Prayer point number one, Father, open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Someone cry to your maker. Shake it, take it, take it, take it. Open my eyes. He said, call unto me and I will answer. I will show you great and mighty things. Zaria, are you praying? 
Abuja, are you praying? Koinonia Global. Cry. You may be a man of God, an apostle, a prophet, an evangelist. Hear me. We are in the days of his power. There is a mighty awakening across the nations of the earth. Shebra kata kata katos kata hebra teke para katos koto preteka hebra teske te preteke para katos yata. Open my eyes. Show me the keys to kingdom wealth and prosperity. Open my eyes. Show me the keys to operating the healing anointing. Open my eyes. Show me the keys to restoration. By your spirit I will rise from the ashes of defeat. The resurrected King is resurrecting me. In your name I come alive. Listen, I asked you the first question, that is it true that God can come to indwell men? Question two, do you believe that the anointing of the Spirit upon a man can cause you to operate and manifest dimensions of possibilities that are not given to mortal men? That this engracing we call the anointing. It says, I have found my servant David, Psalm 89 and verse 20, that with my holy oil have I anointed him. I've anointed him whom my hand will lift. Are we together now? 21. It says that the enemy shall not exert upon him. Verse 23. He says, I will afflict, I will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him. The last verse, he says, but my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. And in my name shall his horn, his horn is his authority, his influence, his relevance shall be exalted. That's why I raised that song. In your name I come alive. To declare your victory, the resurrected King is resurrecting me. Hear me. You see, the thing about the dealings of God with men, please listen carefully. The thing about the dealings of God with men is that at any level you can start with God. And I'm not just talking of new birth at any level spiritually but the first law of transformation is that you must admit the limitations of your current state in pride transformation is an impossibility you have to first acknowledge that i am limited may be a man of god may be a businessman but my current frame of reference is not pro is not producing the possibilities then God can come to you with his mercy. When I cry to God, I cry as though I have not known him. I cry as if I do not know anything about the anointing. I am amazed at our arrogance in the body of Christ over the little that we see. Whereas there are virgin dimensions in the spirit to explore. The current context of our definition of strength cannot host the revival coming. It will take superior manifestations of the power of God if it is the nations we want to take uh -uh. we must quit this blind arrogance and begin to pursue with sincerity we have tried but not enough the current idea of what we call strength and power and results in the body of Christ I submit to you it is not notable enough to compel the nations it says where the carcasses are do you know what it means to make diplomats to make nations to make kings to make people from the Middle East you know what it takes to turn their attention from their busy schedules to look at Jesus 
It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know there's more that's found in you. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know there's more that's found in you. Listen, with all due respect, we're about to pray. We talk a lot about prosperity in the body of Christ and I respect all that God has done. But how many of us can give to nations and still be able to sleep sound? We are not there yet. Let us be sincere with ourselves. Being blessed enough for yourself is not really the blessing. Until you can give to the kingdom in a notable way as though it's a government giving and it does not affect you, you are not yet there. The ones who are there are lots of unbelievers, commendably there, but the church needs to rise. Look at the way we beg for money, we manipulate for money, it's unnecessary. We must contend for superior levels. Many years ago, the Lord revealed to me that there are seven dimensions of kingdom wealth that he was bringing to the body of Christ. And at the time he revealed to me, he told me we were only on level three. Three. You will see men who will stand like nations, whose lives will be a mystery economically. When they speak, it will be a combined echo of the spirit and resources. And some of you, this is what God is preparing you to become. But this version of you cannot host that glory. No. Not with your life still mad with a lot of carnality and greed and just wanting cars and houses. No. The kind of end time wealth we are talking about is beyond I'm wearing a Rolex, I'm wearing this, I'm wearing designers. That's wonderful. But we are talking about nations saved in one day using the resources of the kingdom. How about evangelists and pastors? We preach for hours and only two souls will come out. That is wonderful. But it's too slow. In, in the world today, on average, I, I, the last I checked, and I've shared it here, the statistics shows that the Christian faith only accounts for about 2.6 billion people out of the over 8 billion people now on earth. That is too small and is too slow. If it takes 100 years or 200 years to win 2.6 billion people, then it means we're doing a bad job. Minus those who die, minus those who are born, and the 2.6 includes backsliders on serious Christians mixed together. And yet he wants the gospel to reach all the 8 billion. There must be an accelerator factor. How are we going to get to the remaining over 5.4 billion who must hear about Jesus? Ladies and gentlemen, provided we are still fighting one another, I am for Paul and Apollos, all that is a demonic distraction to waste our time. Because none of us I have taught here sustains the ability to host the global harvest. I say it respectfully to the body of Christ. Any individuals who believe, either as an individual or as a group, or as a ministry, as a church, we can only do our best. It is only in unity that that mission will happen. In this unity, our inefficiencies laced with pride will become glaring and it will become the biggest impedance to our making that progress, even more than demon spirits. We must come to a place of respectful admission that our individual efforts can only go so far. It is the collective effort of the church, the ecclesia, that church from Asia to America, to the Caribbeans, to the Middle East, to Africa, to Europe, together as a united body. And unity does not mean uniformity. We don't have to do the same thing. We must just be guided by one cause. That when the trumpet is blown in Zion, everybody can hear and everybody can take their battle formation, acting according and within the measure of the grace allotted. This is what God calls for. Again, I will refer you to my message, Redefining Revival. Hallelujah. Are we together now? Yes. I really believe in what God is doing. But I submit to you, 
our current result cannot host the new that is coming the Bible says you cannot put new wine you know what Jesus was talking about that you cannot put new wine where in an old wine skin that means every he said and he, te he tells us why that if you put new wine in an old wine skin it is going to tear it so every time God wants to tear the old wine skin he puts a bit of the new wine so that the old will tear and give room for a complete vessel if you want the new wine what's that song where there is new wine there is new power sing it for me I lay down my me the old you cannot carry this new that is coming the old businessman cannot carry the apostolic order of prosperity that is coming the greedy you cannot carry it the stingy you the competitive you cannot carry this dimension of anointing because there is a requisite level of compassion you must have to be trusted with the grace that heals nations are we together that leads me to the next prayer point. No eye has seen, no ear has heard what God has prepared for me. Here's the prayer. So I submit to his work in me till Christ be formed in me. No eye has seen, no ear has heard what God has prepared Are you ready to pray this second prayer lord the circumcision that must happen to me to be able to host the new that you are bringing that circumcision of the flesh that circumcision in my heart lord let it happen expand me everything that needs to be done in my life to carry these superior levels of grace prosperity wisdom influence access let it happen someone is praying You are a kingdom financier, pray. It is not just give me, give me, give me. Your first prayer is make me. Make me before give me. Don't just pray and say give me billions. No, this version of you will be an ineffective and inefficient steward. Walk upon my heart so that my hands will be faithful. Walk upon my heart so that my bank account will be faithful. Walk upon my heart so that my sermons will be accurate. Walk upon my heart so that the results will be authentic. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen, all through this week, don't just follow the conference in the UK, as wonderful as that is. People are connecting from all over the world. I was sharing with the workers, having a meeting with them, and I was telling them in my mind and based on what I know God is doing now, it is not a UK conference. UK is just the venue for the conference. This is a global conference that is making a major contribution to shift a season and bring God's people particularly the people within the euro the, the the region of of europe and the uk into an experience is a baptism that god is bringing his people into so let me encourage you let this week be for you a week of spiritual emphasis don't just be a fan i'm watching i'm wow see the miracles happening but let it be a cry let deep call on to deep some of you may need to go um carry the notebooks that you used to write things with you and God many years ago 
write it use those notebooks for this conference and let there be a cry from your spirit lord my members have been stunted because of my spiritual life it's time to rise to a new dimension for their sake there are dimensions in the spirit levels of power grace influence capacity to speak his purposes to the nations this is what you should do this week but for now and for tonight if you are here and you know that the way your life is please listen that you cannot be a worthy tool for his majesty because you have never genuinely made this conscious decision for Jesus maybe you've come around church maybe you were even a pastor's child or a pastor yourself I'm not asking you what you do spiritually I'm not asking you how many people you've healed I'm not asking you how many people you've prophesied upon I'm asking about your relationship with Jesus and hear me ladies and gentlemen one of my precious people as they came to lead the prayers they spoke about massive salvation of souls it is important that we lead people to Jesus because every man is only a conduit the end of all this pursuit from beginning to the end it will always be it's always been you Jesus that's what it's about that is it may start from us but the end is Jesus tonight is a very special altar call as we step into this phenomenal week and I'm going to make this call and ask you to run like there's fire on the mountain there are people here who are saying apostle I need to make it right start this conference with me not just those in the UK I need to iron it out flog it with destiny and hand my life over to Jesus consciously for those who will summon the courage the courage that defies ego the courage that defies who is seeing me i salute you in advance and i want you to leave your seat as i begin to count one to five i want you to rush and come and stand here right now those outside all the overflows down to the basement our family in zaria and those who are connecting across the globe i begin my counting now leave your seat and run to jesus one Two, Koinonia, are you celebrating them as they come? I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours forever. I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours. Keep coming. I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours forever. I'm yours, I'm yours. of me whatever you ask come come to Jesus come to Jesus he alone is able to give you a new beginning the Bible calls him the way the truth and the life whatever you ask of me whatever you ask I surrender you may never understand the joy that is in the heart of the father and of Jesus himself when many come and stand before the cross crying in genuine repentance except a man be born again he cannot see the kingdom of God except a man be born of water and of the spirit Jesus told Nicodemus he cannot enter the kingdom he said that which is spirit is spirit and that which is flesh is flesh for God so loved the world the Bible declares that he gave his then only begotten son that whosoever believes on him the Bible declares shall not perish but have life everlasting the next verse says for God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world might be saved through him there is no other name the Bible says given among men under heaven by which we must be saved and it assures us that whoever calls upon the name of the Lord the same shall be saved now you have come I salute your courage it took the Spirit of God for you to come here 
and we love you as a family of faith and for all those who are watching by television watching through the internet here's your chance to make jesus lord of your life as i lead these precious ones in prayer i'd like you to participate fully knowing that jesus is right there with you lift your right hand for those of you who are in front here and all the overflows please follow same say this after me as loud and as clear as you can say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive jesus into my life as my savior as my king and as my lord i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i declare that i'm a child of god i go from glory to glory amen keep your hands lifted father in the name of jesus we thank you for receiving this once the bible declares that as many who will come to you you will in no wise cast away they've made declarations of faith and according to the integrity of scripture i declare your sins forgiven i call you bona fide recipients of the life of god and in the name of jesus from tonight i declare and i commend you to the ministry of the word and of the holy spirit there are two of you i just saw the power of god coming on that light there is something god is removing out of your life i rebuke that devil let them go now in the name of jesus be blessed in jesus mighty name we pray now i want you to look please to your left which will be my right there are counselors waving the placard i'd like you to please politely walk to their direction they will have a word with you very quickly and then you'll be back to your seat let's honor them koinonia hallelujah this is the best you can do hallelujah praise the lord please listen carefully so whilst they are on their way uh, to meet the counselors let me announce dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.